Welcome back everyone to our Karimo journey here with Leeds United. Apologies for the delay between the last episode and this one. I've been really busy away from YouTube with university and work so yeah apologies for the delay. We're back today though and ready to jump into more matches here with our Leeds United squad. Appreciate all the love and support as always from all of you lovely people and I hope I find you all doing very well and having an awesome day Sit back, relax, and enjoy this episode, my friends. So let's quickly remind ourselves of how our season is going so far in our first season back in the Premier League. We sit fourth after 12 matches, winning six of those, drawing five, only losing one. And at the moment, it is very, very contested for the top four. Arsenal, seven points clear at the top of the table, unbeaten in their first 12. We also have made it to the Carabao Cup quarterfinals, where we will take on Aston Villa for a chance to play in the semi-finals and maybe even try and win the entire thing. After spending £200 million in the summer transfer window, this is our squad and it's a team that I think is capable of achieving European football in this season. And the first game of the day will see us take on Aston Villa away at Villa Park. So 500 likes on this episode would be incredible. Let's get into the first game. And here is the starting 11 that we have gone with then as we travel to take on Villa. Early sign of what we may see in the Carabao Cup quarterfinal we've got on the horizon. As Luca Digne now works his way forwards here into the Leeds penalty area. Goes across. Modric heads away. Wahi picks up the loose ball. Wahi finding the feet of Shaparenko. Shaparenko showed too much of it to Douglas Luiz and then too much of it again to another Villa player as they now are looking through. And I tell you what, if that's what we're up against today, this is going to be a long, 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 long day. That is an outstanding finish. Nearly unstoppable for Unai Simon in the Leeds United goal. Jonathan David, take a bow. What a hit this is. Here is Kubo. Now Gwenduzi. Gwenduzi to Modric. Luka Modric for Leeds United. Modric now finds Wahi. Wahi allowed to turn. Brilliant by Wahi. And he fires home as well. Leeds right back on level terms. Two well taken finishes from both sides now. I mean, Spence here has just blocked the pass through. But Jonathan David has got on the loose ball anyway for Aston Villa. And he's got it into the area. And this is a great chance. I just sometimes don't know how they still work it. Spence does well down the right-hand side initially. The ball bounces off him straight down the line. David keeps it in play. But even then, we've got enough players to defend this. But somehow, Villa still create the chance. I mean, here, Spence goes a bit too far. But then there, like, we can't be allowing that pass to go back to Luka Digne. 2-1 Villa. Modric. Shaparenko on the turn. Shaparenko. Still work to be done here if he wants to find a chance. It's brilliant by Shaparenko. Now Wahi allowed to turn and get in the area. And Wahi does what Wahi does. Straight back level again. And it's the same man who's got leads. Another equaliser. And I'm not making excuses, but it's been well over a week since I last played on the save. So it might take me a few games just to get back into the swing of things. But I'd take a point here because, as I say, first game back for quite a while. Wahi, thank you very much, my friend. Puts us back on level terms for the second time. Final 10 minutes of the game now as Eight Nori will play forward towards Nonto. Eight Nori's carried on his run. It's Eight Nori. It is Shaparenko for Leeds. Before he could shoot, though, there was a vital touch from a Villa player. I don't know who it was who got the touch, but it was a crucial one to stop Shaparenko from actually shooting. As Nonto, we've gone short from the corner. Nonto to Modric. Modric to Jallo. Jallo, look at what's gone on here as he works his way into the Villa penalty area. Jallo across and there's a touch there and it's not given as Joel Pirro goes down. Emmy Martinez should have been a penalty. Leeds are saying it should. Villa are happy to see no penalty as now there's a chance for Villa to maybe get a chance themselves before the end of this one. Single two minutes in fact added on. I was about to say single minute but no, two minutes added on. Jacob Ramsey, cross goes deep. Who will get there? Nonto will, and that should be that. What a game we've seen here. It's 2-2, and that's the way it'll finish. But a talking point at the end, should Leeds have had a penalty? Well, it's a point apiece. And because I'm conscious about the fact that I might not be able to get as many episodes out as I would like with university and work, I am planning on getting through the season a little bit quicker, which might mean more simmed matches 
but hopefully the videos are still entertaining for all of you lovely people. So Brentford, we are simming this one. We're at Ellen Road, I expect a victory. We've ended up with a two-all draw after only conceding two chances, but Wahi with another double, which has put him second in the top scorers. Nine goals in 12 games for our star striker. And then an away game against Brighton, unfortunately a 2-1 defeat, having had more chances in the game, but they scored two of their three. A number of changes ahead of Leicester because of the fact we've had fitness issues with the games coming thick and fast. Leicester are in the relegation zone, so I'm expecting a victory here. And it was indeed the case. 1-0, Nonto with the only goal after 20 minutes. Dan James has been asking to leave the club and handed in a transfer request. Two offers, one from Palace, one from Sevilla. And we've gone ahead and accepted both. So we'll see where he ends up leaving. Two. And now an away trip to face Everton at Goodison Park as Sanchez in to replace Modric. Other than that, so our usual starting 11. Sanchez. Nonto as Nonto will play Wahi. Wahi looks for Shaparenko. And I tell you what, that ball goes through. Leads are in. But unfortunately, it didn't quite work out like that. As here is Somerville against his former club. Gwenduzi has it. That's never a free kick. In what universe, referee, is that a free kick? Not this one, but it's been given. As Dela Cruz will lift it into the area. It's a... How? How? It's a free header for O'Reilly and Everton lead from a free kick that shouldn't have been given in the first place. And that's how we concede. Brilliant. Gwenduzi just doesn't jump. And then Unai Simon does the splits. Well done, boys. Phenomenal defending. What is going on? How has that gone in? Am I, am I losing my marbles here? Or is it just me that feels like both of these goals should not have gone in? And the worst part is it's Somerville who's got it as well. I just, I don't know. Has it come off of strike? We're 2-0 down to two bizarre goals. That is brilliant by Nonto to win it back. And it's a foul ref. Thank you. I was going to say, if the one you gave them for their opening goal was a foul, then that one surely has to be given. Sanchez here, not really sure what I'm doing with the ball. That's a great pass. Shaparenko! Right. I'm not being funny, but what's that? Does he... I mean... Huh? Sanchez to Nonto. Back the way of Sanchez. Sanchez turning again. Playing back to Nonto. Nonto. Sanchez. Shaparenko. Better this time, please. Right. No, I'm not having it. I'm not having it. Piro's coming on. Here is Spence. Spence to Wahi. Wahi on the turn. Jed Spence still over on this right-hand side. Here he is then. Spence. Wahi again. Everton's so compact, though. We're making this really tough, as you would expect. When Doozy trying to find the feet of Piro, given away. Sloppy from Leeds United. That touch from Beto is outstanding, though. And now he holds off the challenge of Jallo. Finds Somerville. And sometimes it feels like we just can do nothing. What? 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 It's 4 0. It's 4 0. <laughs> <laughs> oh no this looks so bad while he's trying to make the move Piro's seen the run of Kubo and while he's going to be offside if he stays there Kubo into the area of Everton Takefusa Kubo Kubo still got it Kubo blocked force for Nonto Nonto can't hold on to it and this game has been one to forget oh <laughs> I've been absolutely embarrassed there we've been embarrassed I say we I mean the team and it's all my fault I'm sorry that was awful 4-0 what 4-0 I don't remember that Aston Villa Carabao Cup quarter-final it's probably a bad idea but I'm going with a cup team for this one so yeah we'll see if they can get the job done here is Gruev who's filling in at right back for us today now then, Gruev. James made the move ahead of him. Here is Dan James on the turn. James looks for the run of Ruter. One back by Villa, who are now looking for a forward pass of their own. Sorensen has done well there. And now Gray on the turn. Away from Douglas Louise. Brilliant by Archie Gray. Nonto to his left. 
Here is Nonso. As Rute is in the middle. Nonso looks for the cross. Goes deeper towards James. James to Rute. Big save by Emmy Martinez. It had to be Leeds in front. It's not. What a save. Into the box is Alex Moreno. Pulling it back for Jacob Ramsey. Sorensen. Why, when you try to make the tackle, have you gone past him and give him the shot? Villa in front from the first chance they've had. Gruev down the line to James. Here is Dan James then. Now, this is the moment for Leeds United to try and get back in this game. It's with James as he pulls it back. And Rute will slot home. No denying him this time. Back on level terms with half an hour to go. And what's evident in the games that I've played so far is that I can't defend because conceded a lot today. Need to be better. Final 20 minutes of the game now as Leeds United won. Aston Villa won is the scoreline. Both sides fighting it out for a semi-final place. Firpo finding the feet of Nonto. Nonto cuts it back here towards Archie Gray. Gray and Padu. Ampadu on the edge of the penalty area of Aston Villa. No way through yet. That's a nice ball, though, to pick out Nonto. Nonto. Piro! Big save again by Emmy Martinez. Kept in play by Dan James. And the only reason I put that ball back is because I wanted to let the ball go for a corner, but James was running towards it, and I had this feeling that he'd end up taking it out, and it'd be a goal kick. So I was like, rather than have that happen, let me just put something back in the box and hope, because the amount of times... I've seen that happen. He's a little bit ridiculous. So I couldn't pull him away from trying to get onto the loose ball, which is why I put the ball back in. And now Aston Villa come forward. Piro, effort saved by Emmy Martinez as we're preventing the cross for the moment. Eight minutes of time to play. Alex Moreno now does send that cross in. Jonathan David near the goal. Should score. Wang Hee Chan, final five minutes. Chan, now Kamara, Kamara, Rute, Jorginho Rute! Three minutes from time, leads in front, and Ellen Road is going crazy! Semi final of the Carabao Cup on the horizon. We just got to see it out now in the final few moments. Rute, ladies and gentlemen, and arguably with the way Shaparenko has been playing recently. There is a spot at Cam available. Is Rutter the man to come in and replace him? He's playing up front today. Piro is playing just in behind him. But I think Shaparenko needs a bit of a break from the starting 11. And Rutter has got a double here today. It's full time here at Ellen Road. Leeds United 2, Aston Villa 1. And that is a huge relief, that scoreline, after the humbling defeat to Everton by four goals to nil. I felt I had a point to prove to myself that... That was just a one-off and performances have to be better and they were here tonight. Rutez double takes us to the semi-finals of the Carabao Cup. Double leg ahead of us. Who will it be? Who we face? Dan James has agreed a deal to join Crystal Palace for £15 million once the January transfer window opens. Carabao Cup draws being made and we will face Southampton in the semi-finals. In the quarter-finals, West Ham knocked out Arsenal 4-3. Brentford... 1-2-0 against Spurs. What a chance we could have in a Carabao Cup final if we can get past Southampton. Both of those legs will be played in January. And usually I would play the games against Manchester City, but I don't just want to play the big teams. I want to show you a variation of teams that we're playing against. So we're simming this. I'd honestly take a point. And, well, it was always a big ask, wasn't it? 3-1 victory to City. Recent results have meant that we have fallen down the Premier League table. We now sit ninth, two points away from fourth place Chelsea, who occupy that last Champions League spot. As you can see, there are so many teams, though, who are so close to each other. And then there's Arsenal at the top of the Premier League, 16 points clear of second place Liverpool. They have, however, lost their first game of the season. They were previously unbeaten. Next up for us, we travel to Selhurst Park to take on Palace, who sit just above the relegation zone. And we have a number of changes ahead of this game against Palace due to fitness reasons. Ruter, Piro, Sanchez, Sorensen and Firpo all start. Ball forwards. Sorensen will win the first one. Ruter wins the second. Kubo wins the third. It's just been played as headers right now for Leeds. Kubo and Guendouzi combined. Guendouzi still has it. Kubo again. Now to Ruter. Ruter into the area of Palace. Jorginho Ruter. Brilliantly done. Oh, I thought it was in and so did he. 
This is better by Leeds United though as Kubo is round one. Still Kubo, Piro to his left. It's Piro! It's an absolute rocket from Joel Piro! And Leeds have the lead at Selhurst Park. It was made by Take Fusakubo though. It came actually from Dean Henderson's goal kick from the Ruter chance moments ago. He sent it forwards. Header was won by Junior Furpo. Kubo took it forwards. A nice ball inside to Piro, who doesn't even need a touch. Unleashes the left footed shot and sends the rocket past Dean Henderson. Leads in front. Furpo towards Kubo. Take Fusakubo inside towards Piro. Piro back the way of Kubo. Kubo turns back on his favoured left side. Now Piro again. Picks out Sanchez. It is Sanchez into the area of Palace. And he tried to go near post. Henderson watched it all the way. But Leeds are looking for their second. Kubo delivers the corner. Aim towards Piro. Just wide. Half time whistle looming. It cannot come sooner for Crystal Palace. Who are holding on here. And just about. Actually it's hit the outside of the post there. Just about keeping the score at 1-0. Leeds United double change with Sanchez replaced by Ampadu and Kubo replaced by Dan James in what could be Dan James's final appearance for the club as he looks set to be leaving in the next couple of days. How has that gone in? Uzuni's had a loops over Unai Simon and Palace have a way back in and a drawn level. And I think that might be their first chance of this second half. It was a hopeful ball in. Strikes header goes up. Gwenduzi jumps with him. But I'm sorry, Unai Simon should not be beaten from something like that. And Roy Hodgson's men are on level terms. And it's such a typical way that we concede it. So, so poor from us. How is that the goal that's gone in that has allowed Palace away back into this game? Piro forward for Nonto. Nicely done. Nonto. Ruter controls. Shot was blocked. Gwenduzi now picks it up. Palace looking to make sure that we can't find a straight way back in front. Ampadu to Gwenduzi. Gwenduzi done well. Finds Dan James. Heroic is he? He is indeed. 15 minutes from time. As I'm talking about it could be his final appearance for Leeds United. Well he's going out with a brilliant goodbye if this is the case. Because he's just put us ahead here with 15 minutes to go. It's brilliant patient work by Matteo Gwenduzi. Who you could say should have done better for the Palace equaliser. But he picks out James. Who two touches later finishes past Henderson. Good work by Ampadu there to steal it back. And he's found James as Palace are a little bit stretched now. Trying to get themselves back into the game. Dan James finds Piro. Piro picks out Gwenduzi. Leeds have sealed it. Matteo Gwenduzi picks up our third. Two goal advantage. And there's surely no way back for Palace now. James. Ruter. James has made his move. He's so quick, Dan James. And his performance is like this, where you're thinking, why on earth are Leeds selling him? Well, as Piro's hit the outside of the post, it will not be a fourth. I want to say I'm not selling him because... Uh, in fact, I probably already said this when I showed you the offers. I'm not selling him because of the fact that I want to get rid of him. But he actually wants to play a lot of first-team football that he was not getting here. So that's why he ended a transfer request. I can't really say no as that's his wish. And um, as I say, it's been a brilliant goodbye if he has scored the goal that's given us the victory. Well, Gwenduzi has added to that, of course, since as that ball goes in. And with two minutes to go, we are looking at the three points here. And Dan James' inspired substitution has made sure to say goodbye to the Leeds fans in a brilliant way. James finds Gwenduzi. Could have been a fourth, actually, for Leeds had James's ball into Piro been finished. But the outside of the post denied him. And that is full time. Leeds go marching on. See what I did there? And what's quite funny about all this is that Dan James, who has just scored against Palace at Selhurst Park to put us 2-1 in front, has actually chosen to join Palace. You might remember I accepted deals from Palace and from Sevilla, so he had two choices. Well, he's gone to Palace. I wonder how they feel after he just came off the bench and scored to put us 2-1 in front. Well, he's playing for them from now on because... He's joined them as the transfer window has just opened. I would like to try and get the semi-finals of the Carabao Cup in today's video. So I think I'll sim Leicester, Burnley and Brighton and play both legs against Southampton to see if we can reach our first cup final as Leeds boss. So away to the King Pass Stadium we go now. Leicester, seven points, sit in the relegation zone. You expect that Leeds should win this game, but away sims are always tricky. 
Let's find out the results. It's a 4 1 victory, convincing Nonto, Shaparenko, Gwenduzi, and Takefu Sakubo. They did actually take the lead, Leicester, though. Now for Burnley in the FA Cup, which we will go ahead and sim. We're away at Turf Moor. And we end up with a 1 0 draw, which means we go to a replay. Cresswell scoring with five minutes to go to earn us that replay. The first leg is being played at St. Mary's. And this is our team we've gone with the dynamic duo of Ruter and Piro start. Chan starting out on the left, Ampadu and Gray into midfield. And let's see, can we set ourselves up with a first leg victory? Pascal Stroik for Leeds United, who you expect will see a lot of the ball tonight. Last time we did play against Southampton was in the Championship. We have strengthened a lot since those days, though, as Chan looked for the ball inside to Ruter. Only found the feet, though, of a Southampton player. And now Aribo will play it forwards. This is the danger, though, for Leeds, right? The counter-attack, because we might have a lot of the ball. We've got to be careful that Southampton do not end up being able to counter against us when they do get it, as Bob on this right-hand side, back the way of Bree. Chan's back here to help out defensively. Bree's still got it here for Southampton, and still Bree. All the way towards the byline. The cross goes in quite deep. Kubo gets his head to the ball. Now Ruter to take us forwards, but still so much work for Lisa to find a chance. But Jorginho Ruter fancies the foot race against Stevens. And Ruter makes his way to the Southampton penalty area. And Jorginho Ruter goes all the way for Leeds. It's 1 0 here at St. Mary's. And it was an easy as you'd like goal that you probably will ever see from these two legs. It was just Ruter. Running at Southampton. I tell you, that is outstanding from Jorginho Ruter, who's been really impressive recently. I've got to say that. He has been very, very impressive. As he got a double, didn't he? Against Villa to get us here. And that one. Anuachu, good turn. Aribo now then, back the way of Paul Anuachu. And it's a save made for Unai Simon. But could he have caught it? Could he have prevented the corner? Because now there's more defending for us to do as Oscar Bobo! That one far better from our goalkeeper as it's still not cleared yet though. Ruter, I tell you, I think it should have been a penalty. It's not been given. I wasn't actually controlling Ruter though. So when he went to ground, that wasn't actually my doing. So I'm kind of glad it wasn't given. As Take Fusakubo now. That won't help, though, with the Southampton frustration, especially if Pirro goes to score now, though. Oh, my goodness me. That certainly will not help the Southampton frustration. They should have had a penalty. They didn't get it. They're 2-0 down. Like I say, I wasn't controlling Ruter, but we'll see here. Is it a penalty? Well, he gets a touch on the ball there. Is that why the penalty wasn't given? The touch is there, and then he takes the player out. Actually, on second look, it actually is an outstanding tackle from Ruter. I think Southampton will still say, though, they should have got a penalty. Instead, they are now 2-0 down, and it is a huge mountain for them to climb to try and get back into this double-leg tie to reach the Carabao Cup final. Leeds United are in a prime position to send themselves to Wembley. Oh, Ampadu's won it back, though. Ampadu, brilliant win back. Piro to finish! Oh, Ethan Ampadu in the midfield of Leeds United picks the pocket of Oscar Bob. And Piro makes no mistake and it's 3-0 Leeds. It started actually. Cham went on this crazy run. Southampton in the end got it back, found Oscar Bob. But then Ampadu was quick to win it straight back for Leeds. And the favourites were us. But we had to live up to the favourites title. And no disrespect to Southampton. I expected us to win comfortably over the two legs, given the strength of our side. I'm saying it like we've won. I mean, there is still that second leg to come, but based off this performance, I don't see a reason why we won't win that one as well. As here is Kubo. Kubo now trying to get Leeds a fourth goal. Just sort of runs around. Manning, not sure if he wanted to go and press the ball. Now Jed Spence. Spence carries it all the way inside. Under no real pressure. It's Ruter, and he's... No advantage shown, but he doesn't need an advantage because Jorginho Ruter has found Leeds his fourth. Saints look beaten. They look beaten. It's Ruter running the show for Leeds. And as you can see, when he gets through, there is no advantage by the referee. There was a definite foul, but didn't need it. Ruter just said, fine, I'll score. And score he does. As the ball morphs through his leg, in fact. And, um, well, we just won't talk about that. 4-0 Leeds. Small bone. Now goes out wide towards Bob. 
Back the way of Smallbone. Ampadu tried to get the challenge, missed it. Smallbone inside to Anua Chu. Anua Chu's efforts! He will grab one back for Southampton. Something for the home fans to shout about, but they still need another three at Ellen Road. And Anua Chu's efforts, great. Slightly disheartened. We've conceded, though. Clean sheet gone. Piro and Kubo combine well. Now Kubo against Bella Kochap. Kubo's ahead of him. And it's still Kubo. And why on earth Ruter was running there? I don't know, but he's falling for Ruter anyway. And it's just so unlucky for Southampton. But it's world class from Jorginho Ruter for his hat trick. This finish, exquisite. I don't know why he's running the way he's running, though. Because Kubo is looking to play it inside to him. All he had to do was sort of wait centrally. But you can see he comes closer to the ball there. And it sets him up for a very strange angle. The ball eventually goes to where he probably should have been. And then when he does get there, he finishes exquisitely. Three Southampton players to get it through and he manages. Here goes Oscar Bob. We are into the final couple of moments now as Eight Nori wins it from him. And frustration from Oscar Bob there as he goes sliding in on Eight Nori and will surely pick up a card here. What colour it will be though, that is the question. As the referee's going over, it's a yellow card for Oscar Bob. And um, that is going to be that for this one as we will head into that second leg with a 5-1 scoreline. And I probably don't need to play it, right? We should be into the final. Ruter collects his match ball. And there's a serious question now then. If we do reach that Carabao Cup final, who starts up front? Because Ruter got two against Villa, three here against Southampton as he earned his spot to start in that Carabao Cup final ahead of Wahi. Brighton at Ellen Road, and I will be simming this as we know. So let's see what the result is for the lads. Oh, what a result. 4-1, Piro came on for Kubo at half-time. Kubo scored the opener, Piro got one, and then Stroik got a double. What a result. And now it's the replay against Burnley. We drew the first one, 1-1. One, one. So that's why we're here for the second one. And unfortunately, we're beaten. So we're out of the FA Cup. 3-1 to Burnley there. But that's not our focus because the Carabao Cup final is looming. 5-1 scoreline against Southampton. And as I say, there is absolutely no reason why we won't be in that final. I'm going to be simming it. And if we have the collapse of the century and end up losing 5-0, then we don't deserve to be in the final. Put it that way. As I've just seen, the player who I was maybe looking at bringing in next season, Brett Chiesa, has left for Roma. So £43 million he's gone to Roma. <laughs> and informed Salah courted by Chelsea. Once of Chelsea, you might remember. If he goes there, I'll be quite surprised. And here we are then. So, after this, we'll be able to see who we're facing in that final. I'm saying it with such confidence, because at 5-1, the job should be done. If not, we'll win it here anyway. 3-0. Kubo's double with a non to goal, and it's 8-1 on aggregate that we beat Southampton. Who is it in the final, though? As it's Brentford... West Ham, they haven't played their second leg yet and it was 2 on Brentford after the first leg. And that, my friends, is what winning three games on the bounce can do for you. After beating Palace, Brighton and Leicester, picking up nine points out of nine, we've gone from ninth to second. Admittedly, the points are still close, but we're second and that's how I'm going to say it because that's an incredible thing to think about. Arsenal still, though, way out in front, but we're not thinking about them. Second place! How about that? Well, to add to that, let's see who is our Carabao Cup final opponent. Drum roll, please! It's West Ham United. They won on penalties 3-2, beating Brentford 2-1 in the second leg. So it's Leeds against West Ham for the Carabao Cup. Our first chance at silverware as the Leeds United boss. And that will be in the very next episode, my friends. You will see the Carabao Cup final in the next episode of our Leeds United career mode. But a massive thank you for watching this one. If you have enjoyed it, I like it, greatly appreciate it. As I said at the beginning, apologies for the delay between the last video and this one. I've just been really busy away from YouTube with uni and work. And I'm still going to be super busy, but I will try my best to get the next episode out for all of you lovely people very soon. Until then, stay safe, have a great day, have a great evening, look after each other, and I'll catch you all back here again for more videos on the channel. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already, as I'm trying to reach 100,000 subscribers before the end of the year, and you can help me with that goal. Until next time, adios!